Good evening, everyone, from your local election headquarters. I'm Christy Casciano. I'm Jeff Kulikowski. As voters mail in absentees every day, early in person voting begins Saturday. Candidates looking to make their closing arguments before Election Day in a little more than two weeks. That's coming right up. Today, Democrat Dana Malter calling out her opponent, Congressman John Katko. News Channel 9's Andrew Donovan joining us now. He's live in downtown Syracuse for us. Andrew? Christy, the lieutenant governor was in Syracuse likening the federal government not helping central New York through the pandemic like the government not helping New Orleans after Hurricane Katrina. And that's the reason she came to town to endorse Democrat Dana Balter in her race against Congressman John Katko. Balter used the appearance as a chance to criticize Congressman Katko for voting no on two versions of the coronavirus stimulus bills called the HEROES Act. Congressman Katko defends the votes, claiming too many other extreme policies were tied to those bill packages, like stimulus checks to undocumented immigrants. Congressman Katko defended this position in a debate hosted by Syracuse.com this afternoon. We'll hear from him second, but first, Bolter's answer at her event to me asking if she's putting too much blame on Katko on this particular issue, knowing it would pass the Democratic House but die in the Republican Senate both times. He is responsible for his vote, which was a no vote. And I have heard him make the argument that you're making. That bill wasn't going anywhere, so why should he vote on it? And yet he wants you to believe that the Problem Solvers Caucus framework that he's worked on was somehow a better choice. That framework wasn't going anywhere in the House, never mind the Senate. So that argument just doesn't hold water. It's one more way that John Katko plays these Washington politician games that he has learned so well in the last six years and refuses continually to stand up for what's best for the people of this district. 27 moderate Democrats, of which my opponent would never would be, voted, uh, sent a letter to Pelosi saying, please stop sending messaging bills that have no chance of passing. One of those was my colleague and friend, Anthony Brindisi, both of whom, uh, both of us whom vote 70% of the time together on bipartisan measures. He voted against it. And he voted against it because he knew that the Problem Solvers Caucus bill is a real bill. And if for her to belittle saying $500 billion to state and local governments is not enough, I can tell you one thing, Ben Walsh and Ryan McMahon would be doing backflips if they got that. Balter, a Democrat, says she opposes Brindisi, the congressman from Utica's vote, who's also a Democrat. But she says she does not support his no vote, but he's not her congressman. John Katko is, and that's why it's an issue to her. Live in downtown Syracuse, Andrew Donovan, News Channel 9.